All right, guys, we're checking out the latest version of 8.0, update 2.42.40, rolling out throughout this past weekend, throughout today, and probably throughout the week for the masses. This version is a minor release, but it could be considered a major release as it addresses a big issue that a lot of people have had uh, since the 8.0 came out, and that is the user interface and user experience around the USB. So this particular release, while it may address some other things, some other minor issues, the major thing that it addresses in this release per the release notes are the USB interface and the, some of the issues that uh, people had complaints with. So one, great that Tesla's listening, great that they're being responsive and active to these issues and not just letting it linger. So this is a good thing. Uh, and again, my theory is that these are probably updates that they probably had pending, uh, but just didn't have enough time before the initial release of 8.0 came out. So. First and foremost, we need to understand that the the major fixes that they've addressed are one with the USB is the fact that the artist now shows a bunch of different artists, but then when you press the artist, it doesn't show all the songs. It groups the content by album, which is great, but also to be expected, it's sort of a, you know, a bit of a regression, what they did with 8.0 in terms of the functionality there. And then from here, you can just drill down into the individual uh, songs within the album. You also have the ability to see the the album art, which comes up very quickly for all the uh, all the folders or all the albums that you have on your USB drive that have album art. So you'll see when you play an actual item in the uh, in the list, the album art comes up. It's pretty quick. It's pretty snappy. I'm just going to click around and click on a bunch of different songs and see how quickly it comes up. Album art comes up very quickly. We still have the ability to scrub here through USB. Uh, we have the ability to shuffle. We have the ability. We still have the ability to shuffle. And also to repeat tracks, no difference there. But the big difference, the major difference in this release uh, is the inclusion of this sort of uh, alphabet uh, scroller here to allow you to jump quickly to songs. When you have a big library of songs, you want to be able to get to them quickly. So now you can just jump uh, from letter to letter. It's very quick, whether I'm looking at these different albums or if I'm looking at individual songs. Or if I just say, hey, give me all the songs and now let me just sort through by, by letter. So this is a way to quickly jump through. And this was the thing that was missing from the initial release, causing people to scroll through and have to scroll, scroll, scroll. Now they can just jump from the letter. It makes it a lot easier. So this is a, a much wanted and much needed feature for the USB functionality. You also have the ability to search. And now your search also includes content from the USB drive. So that's great. So if I put in a term... So the, the search now includes the USB where before it just included all the streaming content that Tesla had in the, in the system from the streaming slash slacker, as well as the tune in, um, a tune in or if you have XM, XM perhaps as well. Overall, the performance is also much improved here. If I go to phone, I do notice that I am pulling up album art pretty quickly. I'm not sure if it's pulling that from the internet or pulling it from the album art that I have on the phone. I can't really tell, but it is showing me the album art pretty accurately, pretty quickly for the song that I've selected. The other issue that was a problem was, a, was pretty much a bug. It was pretty much a bug whereby if you were to select a song and play it, when the song got about towards the end here, in certain instances, it would cut off. It would skip to the next one or cut off. This would happen more primarily for me during streaming content. Uh, it also is prone to happen on the USB at times, but for me specifically, it was around streaming content. And when you had a, a song playing on Slacker or TuneIn, it would get towards the end and sort of stop and then skip to the next track. Uh, for me, the use case would really be about having a song playing in the car, pausing it, leaving the car, coming back after a certain period of time 30 minutes an hour and having that song resume and once that res once it resumed it would get to the end towards the end here and then just skip and sort of lose the buffer i think that's what it is it sort of lost the buffer of where it was and would skip to the next track because it couldn't continue to play the song that's just my theory uh, i'm not sure if uh if that's the case but that's just my theory based on my experience so Big update to a minor release, and I think that uh, it, it's going to be beneficial for everyone. It's going to make it a little, more, a little bit more livable for those who carry a lot of content on their USB drives and being able to see that content and being able to, to sort of sift through it and, and get through it a lot quicker than before. Uh, and so that, so far, that's all I've seen right now. That's all I've been able to record. But the idea is that uh, uh, this is just getting better. Tesla is listening. Thank you, Tesla, for listening. Uh, and thanks for the owners for making a, making a big noise.